Back with uh, Coach Q this week. Coach, let's talk about last night's game, one point loss. Take us through that game a little bit. Uh, it was tough to tough to open up that way, not have the energy that uh, the kids I thought they would come out with. Um, we played well in the third quarter. Um, didn't start the game as well as we wanted to, kind of on the road, and, and uh, didn't get some things going the way we would hoped. Uh, but in the third quarter, we was able to make an energy run, get some steals, get a couple five-second calls. Uh, but we was not able to close it out. That's that's the disappointing part. How do you bounce back from this? What did you learn from last night to get ready for Friday? Uh, you know, we got to approach everyone the same. Uh, obviously, I don't think my guys, you know, prejudged Walpole. They played a tremendous basketball game. But at the same time, we didn't do things defensively that we've worked on. Our communication and our rotation defensively uh, was basically terrible. Uh, so we have to fix that, and we have two days to fix it. Uh, we have to continue to do the things um, that we've done in practice thus far to uh, help us get prepared for St. John's. Let's talk about St. John's. Always one of the best teams up in Toledo. I mean, what do you know about them so far this year, and how are you going to tackle this game on Friday? Um, you know, we want to be an up and down basketball team. Obviously, St. John is very well coached. The coach has been there over 30 years, so that that, that also should hold some stability in what he's been able to do with that program in, in Toledo. Um, they lost to Shaker Heights last week out of Cleveland, who has probably the best player in the state on that team. They lost by two. Uh, so I believe they're going to you know, want to bounce back from having a first defeat just as well as ourselves. Um, they're going to be well coached. They're going to shoot the ball well. They have some good size. Um, it's going to be our job to keep those guys off the glass, outlet the ball, kind of do some things that we've been practicing and we've been talking about doing all year. Let's talk about Saturday, you have Salina. What are they looking like this year? They look well. Um, they're a solid team, solid coach team. Uh, several of their players I know personally because I've coached them uh, throughout my years of AAU basketball. But they have a tremendous point guard who understands the game, knows how to play, knows how to score the ball, and knows how to make his teammates better. Um, anytime you have that along with a big who can step out and shoot the three, and it can also post you. And if you've got a nice big and a nice point guard, it just makes the game easier for a coach. Uh, they're going to play great basketball. They're going to play smart. It's going to be our job to kind of get up in them on a bigger floor, uh, try to get them to turn the ball over, and hopefully we can use that to our, to our advantage. Are you and your guys excited to finally be at home this weekend? What's that going to be like? And how important is that to, to be at home and, and to get a big crowd out here? We want the gym energized. Um, there's been a lot of talk in the Lima community about me taking this job and the guys playing here at Lima Senior. We want the gym to be you know, full of energy, but at the same time, we have to motivate ourselves. If there's a 1,000 people here, if there's 100 people in this building, we have to find self-motivation and get ready to prepare ourselves to play a basketball game. And, and, and I think last night was kind of a wake-up call for myself as a coach and our ball club as players. So I believe we'll come out Friday ready to go.